Welcome back to another video. This is another unboxing. Let's see what it is. You could probably tell what it is, but let's see what type it is. Oh, this this box is pretty cool. Come with a little uh, carrying case. This is cool. I guess they let you know they uh, shot it for you. Little thing, you know. I wonder how many yards. It says 10 meters. So that's about uh, a little bit more than 10 yards, 30 feet, a little bit over 30 feet. All right, what is this? All right, comes with an extra mag right here and a lock, which I won't be using. Just add it to my collection of locks. I don't know, might get something with it. Springfield. This is the Hellcat. Now let's open it up. Load a flag. Drop the mag. Nothing in there. Empty. All right. If you haven't noticed, this is the Hellcat Pro with the comp. Actually, uh, once I when I first saw this on online, I have a thing about comps. I like comps. I really do. So I wanted to get it. I have the macro comp and I liked it, but I didn't like the barrel. What I'm gonna do right now is compare both of those. All right, you can see the macro right over here and the Hellcat Pro right here. You can see both of them comped in the slide. Pretty much identical size. It looks like the Hellcat is a little bit thinner, a smidget thinner in the macro the actual grip is about the same it feels both of them feels real good in the hands but i will say the hellcat feels a little smidget better smidget a smidget a small amount better but one of the things i did not like about the macro is with their empty of course with their comp if you see how the barrel is this is actually a shorter barrel compared to the Hellcat. The Hellcat is a full length barrel as far as what you would get on a regular size handgun for this type. This is a 3.7 inch barrel. So you get the full barrel length, so you have more barrel. Therefore, that should lead to more accurate shots but you just have a port right here. So as it's going out, some of the gases are shooting out this way. And it's the, the idea is to keep the muzzle down when you're firing. Compared to this one, the, this barrel is shorter. I believe is, I want to say 3.5 or 3.4, one of those. Um, the, uh, the barrel is a little shorter. So when a bullet shoots out, the idea is the gas is supposed to start coming out here as the bullet is coming this way. However, you got less barrel, so that could lead to shots not being as accurate. However, since it is a comp and it do reduce recoil that's for a small amount, that's supposed to help you keep your shots on target. However, with this guy right here, you're getting the benefits of the longer barrel or standard barrel, and also the port is gonna have the gases shooting up, keep the barrel down. So. To me, this should be a better shot. I haven't shot it yet, just picked it up, but I will be shooting it. Now, with all that said, this is my first Springfield handgun. I did some research on it. I was thinking about buying the regular Springfield from before, but I was a big fan of the SIGs, the P360, I'm sorry, the P365, so I never actually um, thought about buying it. Well, actually, I thought about buying it, but I never actually pulled the trigger. But now with this comp slide and, and the reviews that I saw, in theory, this should be an accurate and the actual muzzle flip should be perfect. But like I said, I'll find that out when I actually take it to the range. Now, with this slide being a little thinner, I learned that 
I can't, well, I, if I really want to, I can put a uh, EPS carry like I have on this one on here. But as you can see, it will be sticking out to the side and I have a real problem with it. And it looks like this slide was actually cut for a handgun called, um, I'm sorry, this slide was cut for an optic called the Hexon Wasp. Unfortunately, it looks like you can't buy that anymore. Even if you go to the Springfield website, they're telling you to use the Shield SMSC instead. You know, it, it looked like uh, in the past they had some issues with those uh, slides. I mean, with those red dots, and they just don't provide them anymore. So I ordered a a uh, Shields um, red dot. So I'm gonna try that out. You know, I'm a big fan of enclosed sights, but unfortunately. From what I understand, that this optic, you need a plate to, to fit on this handgun, and based on the thinness of this, it will look pretty tacky hanging over the sides. And the shield will look like it fits directly on it. That's based on the shield on the Springfield website, and you could uh, it, it's, a, it's a better fit. Similar to uh, I have a shield on my 43X MOS. See, this is with the, the RMS C, and this is the same one that I ordered for my Springfield Hellcat Pro Com. I do not have any holsters for this yet. I actually ordered a holster from Tier One. That's my favorite spot, and that's going to take probably a month to get here. So I won't be carrying this anytime soon. However, I'm gonna take it to the range, shoot it a little bit, wait until I get my sights, a red dot, install it, see how it looks. But besides that, it's pretty sweet. Looks pretty nice, like I said, this should be real nice. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take this to the range probably tomorrow. Get a, a few hundred rounds through it. Maybe about 200 because ammo. I don't feel like burning too much ammo. Just see how it feels. And then that's about it. All right, everyone. Have a good day. And don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do. Peace.